Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is garlic planting day. But first, before I do that, I'm going to separate my um, cloves of garlic. This garlic here, I bought online from my little garlic here. Here are seeds, and this is a hard neck garlic. And that's all I'm going to be planting today because I'm in the cold zone five. Now, this is Ukrainian red. Um, so, what you want to do is try to be careful and not damage this paper coating. Is just break them apart if you can. And sometimes, oh, there you go. Breaks apart real easy right there. Just want to separate them. That's all you do, just like a regular clove of garlic. You notice how much bigger these are than that soft neck garlic you buy in the store? These are pretty big, if you see, compared to the soft neck. Um, and I already separated some from the garden last year I had. Here's the cloves I got from there that I'm going to be planting. And these cloves are music garlic and another type of red garlic, and I don't remember the name of the other one. Um, I'm not too concerned. It's all garlic. I'm going to taste very good when I cook it up or use it. And another thing you can do if you're having a, some problems getting the garlic apart, you can use a, like a paring knife, but just be careful. You don't like stab yourself or damage the garlic. You don't want to do that. Um, just get in there between the grooves and keep your fingers out and gently just break them apart. That works too. Also, when you're picking your garlic to plant, make sure they're all firm, not soft, blemished like that. You want to make sure you have a good success rate. These are all nice, firm, not soft, squishy, not shriveled up. So these are going to be, you should grow really well. Yes, yeah, so that's another thing you want to do when you're planting your garlic. Choose the biggest cloves you can and make sure they're blemish-free, not soft, squishy, stuff like that. And of course, it's another good thing about growing your own garlic is you'll have garlic again for the next planting season that will be free of charge. You'll have a, a perpetual um, supply of garlic you can keep planting over and over again. So anyway, so I'm headed out to the garden plot to plant, and I will see you there. All right, I'm here at the garden, and um, before I get started, I'm going to show you a few things I'm using. I'm going to be putting this fertilizer um, in the rows with the garlic cloves. And I'm going to be putting this bone meal in there because it's good for bulbs. As you can see, 100% organic and phosphorus, but you don't have to use organic stuff. That's entirely up to you. It's just what I generally use. And I'm also going to be using, putting some eggshells in there. I'm going to cr crush these up and then throw them in the rows too. It's a good source of calcium. I also do have some blood, blood meal. But I'm not really putting this in for the garlic. I have a vole in here, a hole over here by these leeks. I'm gonna try to spread it around and then I'm gonna throw some in the hole, see if it chases it out. I really don't want it in this bed because they eat roots and they're very, very destructive. Anyway, let's get started uh, planting the cloves. So what you're gonna wanna do is dig a trench like this. And you're going to want the trench to be two to four inches deep and you're going to want the rows to be oh about six inches apart and the garlic cloves oh roughly about six inches apart too so let me get these uh trenches dug and then i'll show you how to plant them all right so i got three rows put in um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of this bone meal and I'm going to just sprinkle it in the holes like this, in the rows I mean, like so. I'm going to take and I'm going to take this fertilizer and sprinkle it 
in the row, like so. And then when you do that, you're going to kind of want to work it in a bit. That's what I always do. I mean, it's organic, so it shouldn't burn anything um, at all. Just work it in. In fact, I'm going to add a little bit more. So get the get the clothes off to a good start. More fertilizer. Just eyeball it. That's what I do. Or you can follow directions on the bag, but I never have a problem doing it this way. So yeah, just kind of work it in. Like so. And I'm also going to sprinkle in the eggshells. Just like this. You can add as many as you want. Won't hurt anything. Um, should It should break down over the winter. Worms and stuff should eat feed on it and all that. And should actually add some nice calcium for the bulbs also. As soon as I'm finished putting in the fertilizer, the bone meal, and the crushed eggshells, we'll put in the cloves. Okay, so now we want to put the uh, cloves in the ground. Now, since they're supposed to be four to six inches apart, um, I think we'll go about four inches. Um, the length of this shovel here, up to here, is six inches, so we're going to go about four, which is right there. Now, when you plant these garlic cloves, what you want is this pointy side is always goes up. This part here goes down. So, pointy side up. This other part here is down. So, see where we're at here? Four inches. Let's put them in like that. One. So, we've got one in. I'll move my shovel here so I can see how far apart. Remember, pointy side up, flat side down four inches there we go all right so I'll get these rows done then I'll show you what it looks like so I've got almost all of the cloves planted so another good thing to do is when I put them in I kind of give them a little push into the ground right that helps to keep them stable so now what you're going to want to do is just kind of fill in over the top of them gently you don't want to knock them over because you want to make sure that the um, pointed side stays up they should be okay that's why I pushed them into the ground so they'd be stable and they wouldn't fall over yeah so just keep filling in the dirt until the whole row is covered so that row is done so, this row is all filled in. So what I like to do is, once it's filled in, is pat the soil to firm it up a bit. What I also like to do at the end is, now that they're all planted, see everything's in the ground, you really can't see because it's all covered up. What I like to do is just kind of, I'll sprinkle some more of this phosphorus on top, a little more of this fertilizer and then I'll just work it in a little bit that way I figure it'll get nutrients from the bottom when the roots go down to the top because when it rains it'll all kind of filter down to the roots so when I sprinkle it on top of the soil I just kind of mix it in like this just to get it blended in so it doesn't blow away and you also may want to mark uh, what garlic you put in there so this is the, the ones that are marked are the ones from the Harris Seed Company, and uh, there's ones that are unmarked, and those are the ones that I grew from last year. And the very last thing you want to do is water it all in. Once you get it all watered in, you just have to wait for spring for it to come up. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Take care, everyone.